currently in a hotel in Sacramento. This is the hotel that has the really good pens, like the Marriott ones, so I'm gonna definitely take all those pens. But anyways, I'm sitting here right now. I'm actually on my live stream, and I just told the story on my live stream. I kind of went off into like a tangent, like a total rant, and everyone was like, you need to do a video on this right now while it's fresh in your mind. So hopefully this isn't too anti-climatic, but I just wanna talk about my trip from Ohio to California right now. I did not vlog my trip at the airport or anything like that and nothing like crazy crazy happened but boy was this all so annoying like the occurrence of events that just happened so as you guys know I was in Ohio the entire summer with my family and I finally just came back because I have school Monday and yada yada I live in Northern California so the closest airport to where I live is Sacramento which is like two and a half hours away from Reading right so I fly in I'm supposed to get here at like midnight like a little bit before midnight you know and I'm staying in a hotel for the night because I kind of thought, you know what, like, here at midnight is really 3 in the morning Ohio time, like, I'm going to be exhausted, plus, not to mention, I don't have my car, my car is in storage, so someone is going to, like, pick me up from here, and it just made more sense for me to, like, stay in a hotel and then leave in the morning, so... The hotel is like pretty close to the airport, but not really, but there was supposed to be a shuttle that would take me from the airport to here, right? You got me so far? And my boyfriend Blake was supposed to pick me up, but like some stuff happened and he really couldn't make it. He's like, whatever. So my other friend was going to get me and that was it. So you guys all know Sam, he's featured in my Amanda's My Makeup Challenge. So he was supposed to get me from the airport, which he still is going to get me from the hotel now, but... Moving along, so my flight, both my flights, because I had a layover in Minnesota, both of them got delayed so much that my mom was texting me when I was in Ohio at the airport and she was like, how was your flight? I was like, I haven't even left Ohio yet. So that's like a whole other thing in itself and it was really annoying, but they ended up giving us free snacks, which was cool. So I flew with Delta. I normally fly with Southwest, which if you guys have ever flown with them, they give you they check two bags for free so I was very used to that and then when I pull up to like the Delta thing first of all I went to the Southwest check-in thing because I'm so used to like flying with them and the lady looked me up she's like you're not flying with us today so I was like oh my gosh I'm thinking like my flight was canceled or something and then I figure out like okay I'm flying with Delta like this is new so I go over there and then you need to pay $25 to check a bag and then like another 20 bucks to check the other one and I was like oh heck no I'm not paying like 50 bucks to check my bags right now and my bags are like way over there I don't know if you guys can see them they are the same bags they're in my whole like elderly lady stole my luggage story time yeah those bags the ones from Costco that are really generic and I'm just like okay like I don't want to lose my luggage but I'm not trying to pay for this so the smaller suitcase one is like 49.5 pounds by the way so I almost had to pay extra to check that one and the other one's like 40 something pounds so they're both really heavy I packed like everything and then I'm holding my laptop and this huge huge carry-on bag which I'm like okay I'm gonna use that as like my purse you know and so the smaller suitcase I'm like oh this is gonna be like my carry-on then then that'll be my purse so I only check one bag I pay $25 it's whatever, I go through security, I get to my gate, I wait for like ever because like I said, my flight came really really late, so then I finally get on the plane, and my luggage, my smaller like carry-on suitcase, doesn't fit above the compartment so I'm like trying to shove it up there like super discreet acting like it's gonna fit and everyone's watching me like there's all these like older men who are perfectly capable of helping me out there like I'm a younger girl I'm not very strong it was clearly very heavy and I had to like put it over my head to lift it up there no one was offering to help me everyone's just staring at me like it's not gonna fit so the lady next to me who was like really cool she's like oh just put it under your seat and I'm like okay doesn't fit under there either so I'm literally like pushing it as hard as I can underneath the seat till finally it gets like stuck under there and so I just put my feet on top of it and like try to scrunch down and act normal because it kind of blends in with the floor because it's like a dark navy blue right so I'm thinking like okay I'm gonna get away with it like there's no way I'm paying another $20 for this freaking suitcase to get checked in so finally when we're about to take off the flight attendant comes over and she's like ma'am you need to put that all the way under your seat and I'm knowing damn well it does not fit all the way under my seat so I'm trying to act like I'm pushing in, she's still staying there, so finally, like, they have to take my luggage, and I'm like, okay, now I have to pay for this, like, this is great. They take it out, and it takes me, like, five minutes to get back out, because, like I said, it was literally stuck. I had pushed it underneath so far the seat, so I managed to get it out. That was a really, they're probably calling me saying I need to check out now, but I'm not going to answer that, because I'll check out soon. It's, like, 1130. Moving along with the story, so then she takes my luggage and she takes it away, she gives me this little pink slip and I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, they're gonna put it in like a separate place, I'm gonna lose my luggage, like this has happened before, I'm not dealing with this, like my camera was in that bag and my laptop I had on me but still like, 
I don't want to lose anything I packed because those were like essentials, right? So I'm like, this is cool, whatever. So we get off of the airplane. I'm at my layover in Minnesota and I get off of the airplane. Like I go off like the little gate thing and I walk over like kind of by the restrooms because I'm thinking I have to go to like the actual luggage carousel to get my bag because like that's what they told me. Then I figure out that it was like in the plane in a separate place. So I go back over to like where I go off the plane, right? And it's literally right by the door. Like, I can see it. They have the luggage right there. So it's not like I have to walk back onto, like, the long hallway. It's just, like, right there. So I go to do that because I ask a guy who worked there. I guess he wasn't, like, a flight attendant, but he works, like, for the airline. So he's like, oh, yeah, it's right there. Just go right there because he saw me get off the plane. And then this flight attendant lady, like, literally grabs me as if I'm, like, a terrorist. I'm trying to, like, sneak onto the plane. She, like, grabs my arm. She's like, what are you doing? Like, you can't go in there. And I was like, I just got off this flight. My, my bag is right there. That is my luggage. And so she's like looking me up and down like she doesn't trust me like I'm up to no good or something and I'm like I'm literally just trying to get my luggage like I don't want to miss my next flight because that flight my layover ended up getting super delayed too so it ended up working out but if it wasn't for that I definitely would have been stranded there so I was like really nervous about that and stuff so she finally lets me go get my bag she's like she walks me like there which is like a foot away and she's like standing right next to me like eyeing me up and down and so I grab my luggage and I go over to like use the restroom and go to my gate. Finally, when I'm halfway to my gate, I realized like I didn't even check the tag on the luggage to make sure that I was mine. And like, I made that mistake before. I ended up taking like an elderly lady's suitcase or she took my, she, or she took mine or something. So I was just like, that's not happening again. So I didn't even put tags on my suitcases this time because I'm stupid. So I open it to make sure my clothes are in there. I'm like, thank God, like I'm so relieved. So I keep going over to my gate and then I get there and it's so cool because they have like iPads and they have outlets. And so, you know, if you're at the airport, you wanna charge your phone. So I'm like, yes, honey, like, yes. Like I get to sit here, charge my phone, play on this iPad. And if you guys follow me on Snapchat, then you guys probably saw my story. I wrote in like the notes on the iPad. I was like, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, like all this stuff. Like my name's Allie Hardesty, like hi. Like I was left a little message there. If anyone's ever at the Minnesota airport, go to like the first iPad at gate G19. Anyway, so then they call my name. I have my headphones in cause I'm like listening to music or I was on the phone or something. And they keep calling my name over to the front desk. They're like, Allison Hardesty, because no one can ever pronounce my name right, even though it's super easy. So I'm like, oh no, now what? Like, now what? I go over there and then they're just basically telling me like, there's a family that like wants to sit together. So they're asking if I, they can move my seat. And at first I'm thinking they're asking if I can like switch planes and I'm like, I can't do this. <laughs> like I, I give up, like no. But then she's saying that they're gonna move me up. So I wasn't like in first class, but I was like right behind first class. So I ended up having like a lot of leg room and it was like pretty awesome. So I'm like, yeah, that's fine. So then finally we get on the plane and we board the plane like after midnight, like it was ridiculous. And this was like with the times change. So I ended up being on the plane for like super, super long, like in the air, you know? I ended up sleeping on this plane, which I never do. If you guys know, I never sleep in general, let alone when I'm flying or anything but I was that exhausted because of the time change so I'm taking a little nap and if you guys have seen Tana Mojo's conspiracy theories video oh my gosh she talks about in one of them like how they teach you to like if the plane's going to crash to like put your head a certain way and that actually will kill you instantly and that's like all I was thinking about right when I doze off and you know sometimes when you're thinking about something and then you fall asleep you'll dream about it so in my dream I had a dream the plane was crashing and then I get woken up this happened twice while I was sleeping because I fell asleep like twice on the plane they wake us up because like they're on the intercom they're saying something and the lady normally they have like a really calm voice they're like okay passengers like this and that this lady was really frantic and i guess we had like severe weather problems which was like another reason why it was kind of delayed so she's like passengers like severe weather and she sounds like really frantic and so i'm like oh my god panicking like the plane is going down we're gonna crash and then you look out the window and the window like right behind me because you know there's like kind of sometimes a window like here and here where there's not one like directly by you one of the windows you can literally see like the plane wing like the huge like little gas whatever they're called so it looks scary already with all the clouds around it and i'm like we're literally gonna die like the plane's gonna crash then i found it it was okay i'm so exhausted i fall back to sleep then i'm woken up again to her like frantically like you guys make sure your seat bolts are fastened like we're going down severe weather like not like the plane was gonna crash but like we were having like bumps and stuff so I'm like oh, this is I'm like really nervous about it we end up landing it's like 3 in the morning which is 6 in the morning in Ohio time and I was supposed to land like four or three hours like earlier than I did and like I said there's supposed to be a shuttle that would take me to my hotel here and I was gonna spend the night and then Sam was going to bring me back up to Reading in the morning and then I was gonna see Blake a couple days later which like I'm still going to and stuff that's like a long story but I land and I go to get my suitcase. My dad left me a number to call the hotel basically to like make sure there was going to be a shuttle available for me. And he called them before I even like left to get on the first airplane, like to say, like to make sure it was going to be good, right? 
I call the hotel, they're like, oh, sorry, our shuttles are done after 11 p.m. Like, sorry, you're gonna have to take a taxi or something. And I know damn well taxis are super expensive, so I'm like, that's not happening. Like, I'll take an Uber. And I have used Uber before, but never by myself. I have an Uber code, so I'm like, okay, like, I can basically get a free ride. It's $15 off your first ride if you use Try Free 10. It's always linked below. Anyways, I've never actually used the code myself because I've just never used Uber by myself. I've never been in a position where I needed to do that before. So I'm like, sweet, I'll just use my code. Like, I'll just get there safely. It'll be good. But because it's 3 in the morning... There's no Ubers in the area at all. So I literally have to download the app, create an account, go through like all this trouble to try to get an Uber. And then I'm just disappointed. And I've never like used Uber by myself, like I said. So finally like a guy pops up and I'm thinking like, oh my God, like I'm, I finally got a ride. And so I'm like so annoying. I try to call the guy. I'm like, he doesn't answer the call. Then I text and I'm like, hi, I'm Allie. Thank you so much for picking me up. Like I've never used Uber before. I'm so excited. Like, like I'm so dumb. I text him like this whole thing. And then he's like, sorry, like, you're too far away. Please cancel the ride. And I don't even know how to cancel the ride. So I end up just, like, deleting the app in order to cancel it because, like, it's just not happening. I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm about to take, like, Lyft now because I'm, like, so determined. Like, I don't want to pay for a super expensive taxi ride. I'm like, pretty sure Tana has a free Lyft code. So I'm like, I'm going to download that app. But then I get my luggage and I'm just so exhausted. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to take a taxi. So I go out this one, like, exit and there's taxis out there. And this guy comes up to me. He's, like, super sketched, like, probably drunk or something. Like, he was on some type of drugs. He's like, are you Kimberly? Like, I'm looking for Kimberly. And I'm like, no, I'm not Kimberly. Like, stay away for me and he was kind of like following me a little bit like in that little area I think he was waiting for a taxi too or something trying to pick up Kimberly so I like ignore that guy then finally like this guy comes up like and I get in his taxi and I tell him I need to go to the hotel and again I've never used a taxi by myself where it was like being paid for on my card and like in my control I was the only passenger so I don't know like really what to do and like that sounds stupid but like there's this card holder in the back like a thing where you swipe your card so I try to swipe my card and the guy's looking at me like I'm so stupid like you need to wait until like after we arrive at your destination and I'm like okay and this guy like there's a huge language barrier like I have no idea what he's saying he has no idea what I'm saying and so the whole ride to the hotel we're trying to communicate with each other and it's just like it's not happening but he's like not giving up like he would repeat the same sentence like a million times and I'm just like I can't understand you but he like wasn't giving up like he was still trying to convey to me what he was trying to say and he ends up like turning off the tv and he was like a really nice guy and so like finally we're kind of like I'm kind of understanding him and so he's asking me like if my plane was late etc and I'm like yeah and then this is really cool he told me that like I should tell the airline that you missed your ride because the flight was so delayed and then they'll give you a voucher like they will pay for your hotel and taxi etc and I'm like really and he's like yeah but you had to do it while you were still there and I'm like okay well that's no help then like too late now right I get to the hotel finally like I make it here and like it's all good and then like it's time to pay for it and the ride's like forty dollars and I'm like okay whatever I already paid for this bag and then like the ride and whatever because I was under the impression like all oh, this was gonna be free so I was just kind of like annoyed and I was just like so tired and so I go to pay for it and he ends up like having me use his app on his phone which I don't know why guys like stuff like that kind of scares me like I'm afraid I'm gonna get scammed or something like they're gonna memorize my I don't you never know nowadays it's like so easy to get hacked like I've been hacked before like my phone was hacked that's why I had to change my phone number and I definitely do not ever want my debit card to get hacked so I was just like uh, uh but whatever I use my card and then there's an the option where you can like tip them you know and instead of like entering how much you want to tip them there's literally a button for like 20 percent 30 percent 40 percent and I was like trying to use this thing like after I pressed like okay I just accidentally clicked the 40 percent tip so I'm like all right so I tipped him like 40 percent of like what I was already paying him and then I'm like you know I just want to go to bed so like I get my stuff I go into the hotel to check in everything's good they're like you get either a complimentary like market item or a Starbucks I'm like you know what like things are getting better I'm gonna use this Starbucks thing in the morning like it's gonna be good I'm gonna get like my strawberry Ikea like with lemonade instead of water and no ice drink and like I'm gonna be all refreshed in the morning so I'm like okay like let's just do that I get into my hotel room and I'm already like a little bit nervous I'm just like I don't like <laughs> doing things alone like being in hotels alone like I don't know whenever I've been in situations like that like usually just things like don't really go as planned like something sketchy will happen and like Blake was supposed to be here with me like Sam was never going to he was just gonna get me in the morning he said he was gonna get me at like 11 o'clock which it's 11 45 right now but like it's all it's all working out like I'll get to that so I get into my hotel room and then like I'm like ready to go to sleep I literally just take off my bra take off my jeans and like sleep in like my t-shirt I'm like 
out, right? Then I wake up at like, oh, I also set an alarm for like 10, like I had a wake up call and everything. So I'm sound asleep, like having the best sleep of my life. Just so relieved that I finally made it. Like we made it, I'm here, I'm in California. Like it's gonna be okay. Tomorrow I'm gonna go and move myself out of storage, etc. So then I wake up at like six in the morning because the freaking housekeeping people like knock on my door and I'm like, no, like I forgot to put the do not disturb sign or something. So I wake up and I'm one of those people like once I'm up, I'm up for good. Like there's no point in like trying to go back to sleep because it's just not going to happen. So I get up, you know, I wash my face, I like shave my legs a little bit, kind of put my stuff together. I go downstairs to get my Starbucks. Turns out they only had like two different options of drinks. Like, and I don't really drink straight coffee, but I ended up like kind of doing that, but it wasn't too bad because Starbucks has like good everything. Go back to my room and it's like getting pretty close to 11 o'clock, which Sam was supposed to get me. He hasn't texted me back since like two in the morning when he texts me to like, you know, when you get off your flight, call me. But his phone was either dead or off because I call him, it goes straight to voicemail and I'm getting really nervous because he was at a concert in San Francisco. So like, I wasn't sure if he was still in San Francisco or like what was going on, if he was in Reading, if he was in Sacramento, because he has family in Sacramento, but he lives in Reading, but he was at a concert in San Francisco, three totally different directions. And I'm supposed to check out by 12, which is like in 15 minutes. So I'm gonna have to like hurry this up right now. So I'm getting really worried, like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to either stay here another night, I can't Uber that far, I can't Uber three hours to Reading, and then my stuff that's in storage, my car, everything, I have to pay for a whole other month if I don't move out, like, today, if I don't grab all my stuff and do all that, like, ASAP, you know? And the apartment people called me because I'm moving into my first ever, like, apartment, and they called me today, like, hey, what time are you coming to get your key? And so I told them, like, two or three o'clock. So then I'm like freaking out like okay like now I'm stranded here like literally like Blake can't get me because of stuff going on and then like he isn't answering and then like all my friends in Reading either don't drive they don't have cars or like a lot of them are in Massachusetts right now visiting my best friend Sarah so I'm just like what am I gonna do? Finally Sam ends up calling me so then <laughs> he's coming to get me like right now he like literally just texted me so I was like looking at my phone which is like right here because I'm actually live streaming as I'm telling the story right now because like they asked me to so like hey what's up guys I'm on it's me right now and so he's coming to get me he's like eating lunch with his mom or sorry breakfast whatever with his mom right now because like he never really gets to see her and then he's like gonna come pick me up we're gonna move my stuff out of storage into the apartment and gonna furnish that place and then I'm gonna film a ton of videos for you guys I'm very excited but I just wanted to like quick do this rant I guess I hope this was somewhat like entertaining you guys can all laugh at my misery and how I don't know how to do freaking anything with my life including work an ATM machine or you know order an uber or work a taxi correctly anything but yeah so I made it here safe that's all that matters I'm really happy to be home I start school on Monday and I have a lot of cool videos coming out for you guys if you want to see me do more rants in the future let me know I did not vlog this trip just because like I'm not the best at vlogging. A lot of the time I'll start vlogging and I'll give up like halfway through the day because I just forget or like I'm too much in the moment, you know? So I don't know if anyone else feels me on that. Vlogs are fun occasionally. Like I'll definitely do them sometimes, but a lot of the time I'd rather just like tell the story or like record if there's like live footage, like something exciting is happening. I almost recorded in the taxi, but it was just like so dark and like nothing that crazy was happening, you know? But anyways, am I really a story time teller if I don't one day have like a crazy uber story time? I don't know. So maybe that'll happen in the future, but hope you guys enjoyed this rant. I hope everyone's having an awesome day, awesome weekend whenever I decide to post this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos, follow my social media, give us a like, comment below, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later alligators. Bye. Oh my god guys, I'm like out of breath. <laughs> They're talking about me as if I'm not even in the room. Like, Barbara, do you think she's telling the truth? I don't know, Kim. Do you think she's telling the truth? Like, I'm right here. I was starting to get so angry. I was, like, shaking, and I was just like, I hate this teacher. I hate this school. I hate all the office people. 